New at nine, a Garland County school celebrating its successes over the past decade after almost having to close down to a growing school district. Yeah, our Riley Birdwell went out to cut a morning star. She joins us in studio after looking deeper into how they were able to turn things around. Riley. Kevin, the superintendent tells me that it's all because of the students and staff and the way the community came together to make sure their kids' education was the top priority. Alumni and staff spoke about the success the school district has seen over the past decade, and I even spoke to parents who chose the district because of the great programs that they have now. The Cutter Morning Star community coming together tonight to honor and remember the last decade they have been through. The teachers would paint their classrooms and, you know, administrators, we'd paint on the weekends to make our facilities look nice. We would cut the grass, we'd clean the toilet, we did whatever we had to do. Back in 2011, Cutter Morning Star was classified in fiscal distress. But now the superintendent says they're doing great. I'm very excited to, to be able to share that because we, we made it over that. We, we not only, I think somebody said, not only survive, but we're thriving and we're growing. They were able to get grants and apply for two millages that help them get out of debt and stay in a healthy spot. According to their financial report, they have a 321% increase in their operating fund that goes into investing in students. We have had a lot to overcome um, over the last 10 years, and I feel like we're right at the pinnacle of that mountain. But Anderson says a lot of this would not be possible without everyone coming together. President of the school board, Jim Harbin, says his family moved to the area in 2015, and they chose the school district because of the small town atmosphere. Uh, it was kind of unsure what the future was, um, but when we moved here, like I said, we kind of did some research and we knew that this is where we wanted to be. Cutter Morningstar has also seen a 54% increase in the activity fund, and their superintendent says they have over 100 school of choice students, so they are continuing to grow. Reporting in studio, I'm Riley Birdwell. Back to you guys.